Hello there. I thought I'd make a layout together with you. Hopefully it'll work and if not, well, hey, that's it. Sometimes you do succeed and sometimes you don't. This time I'm working on a something, well, that tells you a little bit about me. Inside me is a skinny woman trying to get out, but I just give the witch some chocolate and she, sh and she shuts up. And I found this wonderful witch colouring figure on the net. So you can actually print this out and just colour it. I did uh, tape her to a piece, a sturdier piece of paper before I started cutting out all those details and such. So it will be a little bit more sturdy than on regular printing paper. So enough with this. I'm just going to take this aside. And I'm going to work on this craft paper and I'm hoping to be able to make some kind of an effect with the Distress Ink bottles. I have learned to just let the drops fall as they may and I'm not pushing this droplet, I'm just shaking those drops, drops. and I'm wanting them to actually fall down like this because I would like to have a sort of a bloody uh, effect from this red hue. Um, now it's going to be a bit noisy because I'm going to use this heat tool. Uh, when I did the previous layouts I actually used several colors at the same time but now that I'm interested in making this blood scene uh, I thought that it would be better actually to just work on one color at a time. And it might be that I'm going to use several colours on this project, but I'm just going to try, start with that red one here. And I'm interested in actually making all the colours stay there, so I'm not going to dab it off with paper or anything. I'm just going to run it through like this. And the reason for me lifting it up from the table is that I'm thinking it'll dry a little bit quicker when the air actually has the chance of passing through the paper. So now they have dried up a little bit and I'm thinking of actually adding some more. And I'm going to continue with the fired brick and just shake those drops and let's see what happens. I'm going to tilt this paper, oh, oh that's lovely. So now the blood is surely running. And I'm going to continue drying this up. With a technique like this, you can never get the same result the second time you do it. So in that way, you're definitely making an ori original thing. And just look at that. It could be nice with the blood running like so. And if I wanted to, I could of course go over this with some gesso. But I have to take enough colour in order not to uh, contaminate the paintbrush if I were to dip it in again because this is water reactive so the gesso will definitely change color. So I'm thinking perhaps I should go with some stripes like this in a random fashion and normally I would go out and um, rinse this but since I'm making this video I'm hoping I'll be able to rinse it later and in order to quicken the process I'm going to dry this as well
and as you can see the the red paint there is going to turn into something pinkish because when it reacts with the white color it actually turns into a lighter shade and I'm thinking of I had an idea actually yes perhaps I should go for this one then I've got a mask here and I'm thinking of making use of that one I actually I'm going to need something to protect my surface here because I don't want the complete working place all clogged up so I'm going to do it like so and I'm going to take a red spray and I'm trying to make it hit the upper part and I'm going to use Memories Mist Strawberry Daiquiri and this is pretty opaque colour so this will cover the background pretty nicely I'm sure so let's see what happens when I do this hopefully it'll be a little bit, little bit random looking and when I lift this mask ta -da, that's where we have it so I would actually would like to dry this one off as well but I'm hoping I'll be able to do that later but on the other hand if I won't well those are working tools for me so I'm not going to be bothered about them being all that clean so it's time to dry this off yet once more and while I'm doing this I'm thinking that perhaps I ought to think about doing some stamping after this and my thought is actually going to the stamps from Tim Holtz because he does have some wonderful both pattern stamps and text stamps and everything so I'm hoping I'll come to think about something that I want to use pretty quickly or if I were to go with some gadget gear stamps or something uh, I showed you them in a previous video from a haul I was at in Gothenburg so that was the company called Gummi Orban and perhaps I could make use of them once more so I haven't really planned this layout as you can understand I could actually work with these I collected them in a stuff tainer these are from Stampendous and uh, it's pretty easy to see what you have and where you have it and uh, here are the left uh, the other stamps as you can see so these are pretty handy to just snip snap and close and open like that and when it comes to stamping I usually go for archival ink and that is because well it's permanent and I just like the result and I also like to work with different colors or hues I'm sorry for my hand here, but it just has, has to be like this. Sepia is a nice colour, as well as jet black. So I'm going for coffee, sepia and um, jet black. So let's see where this will lead me. I'm going to go for this stamp now, and I'm just going to put it just a little bit outside of the paper, so it'll give an interesting look I think and I'm going to put it in just one more place because I do have a tendency to stamp these twice on the same layout don't ask me why but I just feel like that will keep them cohesive and such and as for cleaning this stamp you can see I've been working on some stuff here I'm just going to stamp it off like this and who knows I might be able to use this one for a later project let's put that on the side and I'm going to go for a little smaller gadget here out of frame I see and now I'm going to go for coffee I like to jazz up the colors a bit as I go along and I'm trying to keep these sort of together and I'm thinking of actually putting this one well I'm going to put it askew 
because I saw that I had a big a bit bigger stamp I could use for the centerpiece. Like so. And for that I'm going to go for jet black and that's going to be pretty poignant. It's going to stand out nicely. So I'm going to put that one there. And then I'm going to do some stamping like so. And the jet black is of course black and it'll show nicely. I might actually put it in the center of both of them. Well, it didn't turn out that nicely, but it doesn't really matter. This is a mesh mesh project, so it'll have to be what it is. I hope the lamp isn't in the wrong way. Like so. And I'm going to go for some stamps there as well. So now I have started this project. The hemnet is a nice thing also, but I'm not sure if I'm going to use it today. Perhaps it'll be just a little bit too much. And if I put the witch here, you can see that she's going to lift up rather nicely from the background. And then I'm going to have the text here. So I'm not really sure if I need that much more, but if I wanted to, I could of course go with some washi tape or tissue tape. And as it is, I actually do have something with a Halloween theme. Perhaps I could go for this Tim Holtz tissue tape with spider webs. That would be nice, wouldn't it? So I'm going to make this a little bit ghastly, but, as, but lovely at the same time. Because you know, I do love Halloween. I just wish it was a little bit longer than the one day. Most people here in Sweden don't really, can't be bothered uh, planning for it. But I'm going to put this, these two here, like so, in a random fashion. And I'm going to look at the witch once more, how will it look if I'm going to have it like so. If I wanted to, I could of course go for a metallic gadget gear or sprocket gear or something there, if, I, if that's something I would like to do. I'm thinking that perhaps I could go for the chicken wire, I think it's called. And I'm going to go for the black. And this time I'm going to go... Go, just keep it in my, in my hand and stamp it in a random fashion and hopefully it'll be nice when I just press it against this like so because in that way I can actually control it a little bit more so it just peeks out like so and if I put it put the witch there nobody's the wiser if it's going to continue under her or something like that so it's going to be an pretty nice I think even though it's a little bit askew I was in a bit of a hurry there but I think it's all right perhaps I could go even here just to continue that uh, line so as you can see I'm actually focusing pretty much on having all of all of the colors and such on just one side and that is because I want to draw the attention to the witch and this is starting to look pretty nice I think so I'm not going to do any more of that um, coloring and such I'm going to take this one away and uh, as for the text I usually ink it up but this time I'm thinking of just putting it like as it is and um, because I do like the contrast it gives or should I do something else So, inside me is a skinny woman trying to get out, but I give the witch, but I just give the witch some chocolate and she shuts up. So this is a quick way of actually making a layout. I think I'm going to pause here, you don't really need to see me gluing these things down. And, well, I could actually show you 
what I'm going to combine this with. So you know my train of thought and everything. I have made a layout in this book and I'm working on two sides. So I'm going to put this witch thing on the right side and I'm just going to open it like this. And here is another layout. So with this one I actually just work with some papers, a Tim Holtz stamp there, red 13, here's a lovely owl from Inka Dinka Do. And here is also a lovely witch. I just love these witches. You know I do. And just look at look at her. I mean the rose is not running, nose is running and everything and the cat is there. And it also looks like a octopus or something in that casserole and the skull and everything so uh, I had myself some great fun when I did this and the frog here comes from Cat's Pajamas it's a lovely stamp company and those poison uh, tickets I just stamped several of them in order to make a ticket strip sorry you can't see it I'm talking about this one here and the saying here wanna be a frog? just keep an eye on me <laughs> And this, this is my kind of humour. So I actually found these sayings on the internet when I started looking for something, some kinds of sayings about witches. So I found this, wanna be a frog, just keep on, just keep annoying me, and this one, inside me as a skinny woman. And I think this one actually speaks for itself. I'm trying to lose some weight and I have set a goal, although I'm, my, I'm struggling, struggling a bit right now. But I'm hoping that this witch will help me reach my goal. So, all the best to you. I'm signing off right now. Bye-bye.